Sorry if it's hot and sweaty in this room here, but I'm in Ghana. This is the match reaction after United's 4-1 win there against Istanbul. And I'll be honest, can we play... Ist no, not Istanbul, sorry. Can we, can we just play Champions League football every single week? Because it almost seems like there's two versions of United that we see right now. And we saw two different versions of United in that game in the first half and the second half. The first half, wow. That goal by Bruno Fernandes, probably goal of the week. You can, if you probably want to argue it, you can say it's goal of the season so far but in the Champions League, maybe, whatever. Fantastic finish from Bruno, the guy who apparently only scores from penalties, then made it 2-0 as well. And he was on a fly. Bruno Fernandes' form and just Bruno Fernandes' ability, it's just levels above where his, his United teammates are. It, it, if I'm Bruno and I'm playing like this, I'd be pissed off with the players around me because they just, unfortunately, let's be honest, drag him down. From the level that Bruno is putting in with his performances, the other players should be coming up to it. And in certain points, in certain parts of certain games, they do. But the consistency just isn't there on the same level that Bruno Fernandes is doing. And two goals there, he's on a hat-trick, gets a penalty, gives it to Rashford. Leader. He genuinely is a person that clearly wants to not only get himself to the best he can possibly be, but to bring others up to that level as well. He wants to inspire others around him to improve, and that's what United need, leaders like that on the pitch. And then it was 3-0, Rashford, calm. First half, no problems whatsoever. But as is typical of United this season, uh, it was like Jekyll and Hyde. Second half, the second team, that, the team that came out was the exact same, but the whole football was different. We went within ourselves, we sort of shut up shop, we weren't hitting, we were hitting on the counter-attack when we could, but we didn't really have the cutting edge, and it was a free kick from Istanbul. You could argue whether David De Gea probably should have done better on that save, which he didn't make because it was behind the line. I think it was probably De Gea's starting position was slightly too far over, but Dean Henderson didn't get to start tonight, and he will then be, therefore be asking questions over what happened there with that mistake. And it was Dan James with a Mason Green, but I think assist to make it 4-1 towards the end. And my overall question, and the reason I can't, be too happy about that win is the fact that I've just watched United scrape past West Brom 1-0 thanks to VAR on one side and VAR on the other and I've also seen United blitz Leipzig 5-0 in the Champions League so far in the group stage this season and then go on to lose to Arsenal in a dreadful horrendous performance only a few days later it's it, it worries me I would say the fact that United can be this one team during the week when the when the glorious lights of the Champions League are on the game and then a completely different team only a few days later, almost like the importance inside the team now is more focused on the Champions League and the success that that, that may bring rather than the Premier League, which let's be honest for you and me and for, let's be honest, 90% of football fans, that's the ultimate goal. I don't know whether United have got our eye on the wrong or the right thing right now, but the Champions League... Look, you can say we were terrible away at Istanbul because we were, but at home in the Champions League right now, we've beaten PSG away. They've got to come to Old Trafford. Let's see what happens there. We've beaten Istanbul at home. Let's see what happens. We've done Istanbul and we've done Leipzig at home. We can do PSG. It'll be the full hat-trick. But it just, for me, it just annoys me to, to watch United like we played against West Brom only a few days ago. So poor. We came away with the, yin, the win so... We came away with the win, yes, but it's just not what you go to expect from United. That first half there, against Istanbul at home in the Champions League, that's what you want to see from United. Exciting, moving football. Quick one-touch passes. Players moving into positions. It's what you want to see more of. We haven't seen it enough this season. And the fact that you can have that sort of performance in the first half compared to that sort of performance in the second half, that's worrying, I would say. Let me know what you think about that. Solskjaer clearly taking players off to sort of keep them as sharp as possible for the weekend. I think we've got Southampton this weekend, but ultimately United just need wins. Today, brilliant first half performance. You can't be pissed off with that. That was fantastic. But the, just the, the contrast that the second half had, it just puts a bigger highlight on the fact that United are so inconsistent. You can do that in the first half and that in the second half of the same game let alone what happens when you move between games. It highlights the problem that exists at United at the moment. When we're good, we're good. When we're bad, we're really, really shit to watch. That's what United is at the moment. Let me know what your match reaction is to that in the comments below. 
But another three points in the Champions League, you have to take that. Let's see what happens with Southampton in the weekend. Build on the West Brom win, three wins in a row. Maybe we can get some momentum. And United need it.